a franchise that we haven't seen a continuation of for a number of years, guys, is Jack and Daxter. This was a franchise, guys, a very fun one, and I'm I've always been have hoping and have been hopeful that we would see a continuation of this franchise at some point or another, and it's felt like we haven't seen anything since the Jack and Daxter collection back in 2017. So let's talk about where is Jack and Daxter 4 at this point, which is what we're going to, we're going to call it that for just frame of reference for this particular video in particular. So guys, the, these games are considered story-based platformers that feature a mixture of action racing and puzzle solving, and I think that's something that people really liked about this franchise was, you know, it had a mixture of action, some racing, some puzzle solving. The series is set in a fictional universe that incorporates science fantasy, steampunk, cyberpunk, and mystical elements together while centering on the uh, characters as they try to uncover the secrets of their world and unravel the mysteries left behind by an ancient race of precursors. So, if we look at the timeline for this franchise, guys, we had the Precursor Legacy come out in 2001. I mean, guys, this is a franchise that spans back to 2001, and we had games pretty much coming out or expansions coming out basically every year between 2003 and 2006. You had Jack 2, Jack 3, Jack X, uh, Combat Racing, and then Daxter in 2006. A few years later, you had The Last Frontier, and then a few years after that, Jack and Daxter Collection on the PS3, and then, of course, Jack and Daxter collection on the PS4 in 2017. So we've only had collections between 2012 and 2017, guys. Uh, Jack and Daxter collection, uh, which was all the way, you know, back in 2012. And then you, you, you got another one. We got another continuation, but it was a collection again, but on PS4. And that was in 2017. So the question is, guys, is where is this franchise, franchise at this point? Because if you really look at it, it, there's obviously something here. They were doing something right. Having, you know, I mean, they were coming out with games every year. Maybe it was oversaturation for a period of time. But the the fact of the matter is, guys, is that this was a popular uh, franchise for a period of time. And I think it deserves to coexist with other games uh, kind of in the genre, even though it's kind of its own thing. I do believe that it really it deserves to, to coexist with other games right now. And I believe personally that having a Jack and Daxter title on the next gen consoles could be really awesome. Even if it was just on PlayStation, cause I, it's a PlayStation exclusive guys. So obviously having it on the PlayStation five would be really, really cool. But that being said, guys, let's talk about kind of the reception here. Okay. Uh, to kind of look at everything as a whole, you had Jack and Daxter, the precursor legacy was came out at a 90% on the PS2, very, very well received. Jack 2 came out at 87, and these are based on Metacritic, guys. Jack 3 on 84, Jack X Combat Racing at 76, Daxter at 85, and then Jack and Daxter The Last Frontier 71 on PSP and 72 on PS2. So let's just put it like this. You kind of average it out. It's around 80 to 85 percent out of 100 on Metacritic. That's pretty good, guys. IGN gave praise to the huge worlds, memorable characters, action-packed stories, and great gameplay. GameSpot gave similar high praise, saying it's tight execution and heavy action elements ensure that things never become dull and that it manages to provide a rewarding gameplay experience that shouldn't be missed so look this is something this is a franchise that i believe had a lot of potential to continue onwards but as all good things guys there's always usually a couple of things that end up happening to a franchise to either put it on a, on a hiatus or put it in a limbo state for a long period of time Evan Wells, guys, revealed that they had explored the idea of making a new game extensively before the development began on, began on The Last of Us. Creative director Neil Druckmann later unveiled several illustrations for the abandoned game at a conference for The Last of Us. He explained that they had planned on making a reboot of the series and had spent a long time exploring various concepts. In response to an alleged concept art leak in 2016, Naughty Dog's director of communication, Arn Meyer stated that nothing was currently being worked on. Also, due to circumstances at Naughty Dog, Jack and Daxter has not yet been uh, reconsidered, but is never off the table. So look, obviously the guys who have the rights 
to Jack and Daxter at this point is none other than Naughty Dog. And we know that the big franchises that Naughty Dog are work, have been working on over the years, Uncharted and The Last of Us, which are incredible, right? However, what I will say is this. Even though it looks unlikely that we'll see a Jack and Daxter game for the foreseeable future, I would like to see Naughty Dog maybe sell the IP to someone else to let someone else take the helm of Jack and Daxter and really start putting some concepts together and see a really nice reboot or a soft reboot of this franchise on the next-gen consoles. I think there's definitely a developer out there that would treat this franchise with care, and I think a lot of people would be interested in something like this. I really do, like a continuation of this, and some people probably haven't even heard of Jack and Daxter, so this would lead a lot of people to trying this game out, trying this franchise out. I don't see why you wouldn't, especially because of the reception. It did well from a marketing and and, uh, selling copies. Uh, As far as all of that is concerned, it did sell well. Most of them did. And the other thing is, is guys, it, it got really good reception overall. So the question now remains, obviously, Will this game ever be made? I think that there's a possibility, but if it stays with Naughty Dog, guys, I, I just don't I don't see it because I believe Naughty Dog after The Last of Us, maybe they go back to Uncharted uh, or they just start a new IP altogether. It's hard to say, but Jack and Daxter, I think, guys, right at this point in time is in a limbo state. And I think it definitely deserves to coexist with other games out there. And I hope it does at some point, but I think it would come down to Naughty Dog selling the rights to another developer but let me know what you guys think what would you guys want to see in another jack and daxter game in the comment section below would you guys want to see a continuation would you want to see jack and daxter 4 let me know what you guys think and for more jack and daxter 4 content and videos stay here with zero tv